Amongst those millions of men, you have brought forth one more. Is it not so? Something infinitely minute, a speck of dust, a nothing. It is so fragile that it may be destroyed by any bacteria which, even when magnified a thousand times, is but a dot in the field of view. But that nothing is the brother, the flesh and blood of every sea wave, of the wind and the thunderbolt, of the sun and the Milky Way. That speck of dust is the brother of every ear of corn and blade of grass, of every oak and palm, of every cheek, lion cub, colt and pup. There is something within it that feels and scrutinizes, suffers, desires and rejoices, loves, trusts and hates, believes, doubts, draws close and turns away. That speck embraces in thought everything, the stars and oceans, mountains and abysses. The 2018 European Psychoanalytical Federation Conference will be held in Warsaw. The subject matter deals with the origin of life. What were the beginnings of psychoanalysis in Poland? Where did it come from? How did it develop? Where has it led us? When in 1900 Sigmund Freud published The Interpretation of Dreams, Poland was divided between three superpowers. At that time, Ludwig Kiekels and Maurycy Bornstein were pioneers of Polish psychoanalysis. Ludwig Kiekels was first to translate Freud's works into Polish. Freud wrote about him, The introduction of psychoanalysis into the science and literature of Poland is due chiefly to the endeavors of Ludwig Kiekels. Maurice Bornstein, another supporter of Freudian thought, was the head of the psychiatric ward at the Jewish hospital in Warsaw, where he introduced the talking cure. He was the first to author a textbook on psychiatry as seen by Freud. Poland regained independence after World War I, with Warsaw becoming the capital of the Second Polish Republic. Gustav Bychowski was the key figure of the then psychoanalytical scene. He authored a textbook entitled Psychoanalysis and it was thanks to his efforts that the Polish edition of Introduction to Psychoanalysis was published. As fascism spread across Europe, many analysts of Jewish descent emigrated from Poland. The majority of those who remained died during World War II. Warsaw was completely destroyed. Hundreds of invaluable monuments and buildings of huge cultural and spiritual significance were turned to dust. In 1945, the amount of debris covering the city was estimated at 20 million cubic meters. Warsaw rose from the ashes, and so did Polish psychoanalysis. Even though the communist government viewed Freudism as socially backwards, bourgeois theory at the service of American imperialism, the new pioneers of Polish psychoanalysis conducted their analysis and supervision in Czechoslovakia or Hungary. Then, they established informal groups studying psychoanalysis in Warsaw, which became the center of psychoanalytical thought in Poland. 
Only after the Iron Curtain fell down was it possible to start forming official structures within Polish psychoanalysis. 1997 saw the Polish Psychoanalytical Society study group established, which became a full member of IPA in 2007. The process took place simultaneously to Poland becoming a member of the European Union. Polish psychoanalysis became a part of international psychoanalysis. Today, we have 61 members and 31 candidates. We promote psychoanalytical thought in Poland. Always mindful of our origins, we are a modern society always open to contemporary ideas in psychoanalysis. Amongst those millions of men, you have brought forth one more. Is it not so? Something infinitely minute, a speck of dust, a nothing. It is so fragile that it may be destroyed by any bacteria which, even when magnified a thousand times, is but a dot in the field of view. But that nothing is the brother, the flesh and blood, of every sea wave, of the wind and the thunderbolt, of the sun and the Milky Way. That speck of dust is the brother of every ear of corn and blade of grass, of every oak and palm, of every chick, lion cub, colt and pup. There is something within it that feels and scrutinizes, suffers, desires and rejoices, loves, trusts and hates believes, doubts, draws close and turns away. That speck embraces in thought everything, the stars and oceans, mountains and abysses. EPF Conference, The Origin of Life in Warsaw. Welcome. <laughs>